Hey good people, what's going on? Good afternoon from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today I'm doing an extra video because I was tagged by my brother, Mr. Anand Tamit, very good friend of mine, brother, we talk a lot. He's from Bangladesh, I think he's from Chittagong. So Port City, one of the most kind-hearted and honest person I ever met. So this guy, he is sitting in UK, uh, all in you know this quarantine, and we are trying to cheer each other up because we are going through a tough time. So yesterday you saw, I did a review. I was not best of like in the moods but this guy really cheered me up and thank you so much brother Tamit uh, you have that ability to make someone smile so he did a um, tag video and he tagged me in there the video was keep 10 fragrances for rest of your life um, and toss the rest I have done these videos before but you know it's always fun when someone tags you and then you know because from time to time your taste changes and this lists particular list they never stay the same because our taste changes you know we crave for different things so I want to tell you a few things I'm gonna do this video thanks to Tamil Bhai I'm gonna tag a lot of people and I would ra rather tag new people who are not even reviewing I would encourage them to do reviews in the end of the video and I'll show you 10 fragrances I picked them up just by instinct I did not think that much I was like what are the ones I'm gonna reach for if I have to run right now take 10 only these are the 10 I'm going to take at this moment. But if one week from now, this can change. So keep it in mind it's just for fun. And another thing is try to stay, you know, cheered up and, you know, um, think positive, even if it's difficult because life must go on. You know, this thing's going to go, you know, like over. It's going to be finished someday. All right. And we're going to come out victorious. All right. Keep it in mind and let's go. So my scent of the day is Hugo Boss, Hugo, uh, by Hugo Boss Extreme, okay? This is the stronger version of the original. Uh, just apple, tonka, a lot of these uh, sweet and fresh notes and some green. Um, I think there's another note of, uh, I forgot, is it cactus or something? Um, I think it's something that is uh, just fresh, uh, green pine, pine needle, yeah. So that's the scent of the day. And my honorable mention, I cannot do it without an honorable mention, I'm a cheat, you guys know that. <laughs> so my honorable mention is only because I'm gonna take it still, I hide it somewhere in my pocket, but it's at this point very hard to find. That is Leech, Lance and Degelan, Extreme. I hardly reach for it because it's very, very rare. So this is my honorable mention, I only one. So let's go one by one, don't wanna review them or explain so in depth because I've reviewed them all. I'll just tell you the reason why I wanna take them, okay? And these all are from uh, some of them are from recent, some of them from older, kind of mix, okay? So, uh, first one, uh, one other thing, these are by no means in any ranking or any order, but you can think of it if you want to, okay? Because I did put them in order, right? So, number 10, I'm going to go with Versace Eros Flame. Something about this fragrance, I know this is not as beast as original Eros, and this is, uh, the top note is just lovely. I just am a sucker for the top opening one hour. Something about this fragrance, whenever I put it, I feel so happy. So I'm gonna take first fragrance, Versace Eros Flame, okay? Check it out. Number nine, I'm gonna go with a baby. I cannot leave it alone, you know? It's uh, one of these bottles I have to take. This has to be in my collection all the time. YSL, Land It Alone. This is my number nine. We have talked about this over the years. No need to explain too much. You guys know what this is, okay? So number nine, Land It Alone by YSL. Number eight, I'm gonna go with one of my newly found love, I fell in love with this fragrance, absolutely. There's just uh, no shame in admitting it. This is Spice Bomb Extreme. I know many people love it. Victor and Rob Spice Bomb Extreme. I'll put down the names, you can check them. I just absolutely love this bottle and I absolutely love the way it smells. It is very almost niche-like for a designer uh, price tag. And this is not really cheap. You have to pay around 100, under $100 for a 90 ml, but I think it's worth it. This fragrance must be in your collection if your nose started to mature, okay? Very beautiful fragrance, very long lasting. Okay, spicy tobacco, dark, and also a little bit of sweet uh, effect. If you like Herod, if you like Wojan, you definitely have to try, try this fragrance out. Spice Bomb uh, by Victor and Rolf, the extreme version. So 10, 9, 8, number seven. This fragrance I told you, some of the recent picks I did, this one made the list, and I'm surprised myself because I love to sniff this. It's very mysterious. It's very different, even though this is a flanker, it smells really nice. This is Dolce & Gabbana, the one, uh, EDP, Intense. I always forget, it's such a long name. But this fragrance, this is just something else. It's very mysterious, very floral, long-lasting. And the fragrance is dark. It almost is, not almost, it is Tom Ford quality. If you like the like of Tom Ford Noir Extreme, uh, some of the sweet variants, you know, darker fragrances. This is a very beautiful 
uh, mysterious fragrance. Just check out the reviews, you will understand what I mean. Dolce & Gabbana, the one, EDP Intense. All right, and then we're gonna go to number six, and then I'm gonna show you my top five. Number six, Aventus Cologne. I'm gonna take this, you guys see, my love for this perfume. I decanted about only 20 mil, the rest of it I wore in the last few months. So this fragrance, I have to have something for summer, you know, like most of these fragrances are dark fragrances, you guys can see. Uh, my love is always going towards darker fragrances nowadays. And these are mostly all, like all full bottles. The reason being, this fragrance just, it's so easy. No matter how much hate this gets, you know, I do like Aventus, but I think this is more wearable version of Aventus because of, we have so much high heat and humidity. This is a fragrance I'll always keep. Love this DNA, I will repurchase this if I run out of this bottle. Aventus Cologne number six. Okay, these are top five are big dogs. Even though the first five are big, these are even bigger. So let's just go. Number five, Interlude Man. This is a beast. I have like about what, 40 mil left? Yeah, about 40 mil left. This is my best uh, Amor fragrance till date. I reviewed, I sniffed a lot of them. Nothing could come close to this. You know, this is just on different levels. Smoky, ashy, leather, wood, uh, <laughs> incense. Whenever I put this on, I mean like, there's just no contest. It's just unfair if people are wearing fragrance and I'm wearing this, it's just unfair, guys, <laughs> okay? So number five, Interlude Man. It's just unreal how good this is, that's all. Okay, number four is one fragrance I bought it from my brother. Uh, I bought, I think, or he gave me a gift, I don't remember, 10 ml decant of this stuff. I always had this like two, th you know, double-minded thing, like should I buy this, should I not? People say it has performance issues, it's not that versatile. Moment I sniffed that 10 ml, I'm like, hell yeah, I'm getting the bottle. I told my brother, let me save up some money. I'm gonna buy this very soon from you. And I did. He let go of this. Thank you so much, Shafi Bhai. This is Wojan, one of the best fragrances in the game, hands down. If you like cinnamon, if you like sweet fragrances, it's just, ah, it's tasty. It got that honey accord. Uh, people say Hermes, you know, like Embre Narguile. This one replaced that with much better performance. I get like really good performance from this, but it's not wearable in the high heat, you know, like, so make sure you know the occasions to wear it. This is, if not the best, I actually did not pick any other PDM except this one. I guess this one beats Leighton for me at this moment. So Wojan by Parfum de Marly, this is my number four. Number three is a fragrance, is a masterpiece. This is the reason I did not, or I'm not gonna rather buy Nishan Sultan Vetiver. I love Nishan Sultan Vetiver. Trust me, I love that perfume. Even if it's like $200, I'm gonna buy it. It's such, such quality. That's my number one Nishane. But at this moment, this is what I can afford and I can rock and I can love. This is Vetiver by Guerlain EDD. There's an extreme version. There are a lot of other fragrances from Guerlain, but this one's something about this beast mode performer, beast mode, okay? And it's such a complex yet comforting, such smooth polished fragrance. It doesn't have quite that big, uh, um, how to say, celebrity like opening like Nishane, Sultan Vetiver, but trust me, for the price that you get this, you can pay double the price, you can still be satisfied. That good. If you like Vetiver, if you're getting into that more complex fragrances, I suggest you buy this. Not try, buy this. Vetiver EDT by Guerlain. That's my number three. Three. <laughs> number two and number one. Uh, number two, no, no need for any drama. Uh, this is my signature scent of all time, but still, it got beaten by number one. Diorum Intense. I was gonna pick Diorum Parfum, I'm like, nah, <laughs> my hand just, you know, Diorum Parfum here, and then I automatically reach for Diorum Intense. This has been my love for last four or five years. And uh, since 2015 or 16, when I bought it for the first time, I was always in love with this perfume. This is my wife, <laughs> sort of. So why did it get beaten by number one? I'll tell you in a bit. But Diorum Intense is a fragrance. If you're a fragrance lover, if even if you don't understand this fragrance, collect it, keep it, Someday it will grow on you, okay? That good. This is the best fragrance, in my humble opinion, in whole house of Dior. You guys can have different opinion, I respect it, but best Dior ever, Dior of Intense. Number one, some of you know me, uh, some of you know me very well. Uh, if you guys know what I really crave for and I just keep showing it again and again since last year when I bought it, it's the most expensive in this list, I think, yeah. Yeah, most expensive in this list, alongside Aventus Cologne but it's not the price tag that made this fragrance special. I mean, I have another from this house um, that did not make the list, this one did. 
this is one of the most unique even if you ask me what is more unique than dhi lege or uh, gil and vetiver or ojan or interlude this one is creation e or enigma by roja dow so this is the perfume cologne version you can get the edp or x-ray even better but this fragrance it's so long lasting it has a cola vibe it has a boozy vibe and it has a tobacco there is just nothing like it when i see the bottle it just describe this fragrance so well you know it exactly smells like this okay so if you ever get a chance get a decant get a uh, sample or try it from your friend and if you want to own a niche luxury fragrance i suggest you start with this you know you will own it and you'll be like this is one of the most unique fragrances in my collection you can be proud of it nothing comes close to this okay yep i mean i wore this uh, so many times every time i wore it i feel like a king Okay, so Roja Dove Enigma by uh, Roja Perfumes. Check it out, and that's my list. Time to tag people. I made a bit long video, but I hope I can finish this very quickly soon now. Okay, so I'm gonna tag some people. Understand this. I'm trying to tag people, trying to get them into doing reviews. If possible, you guys are posted in the group. I'll tag as many as possible, and I'm tagging some reviewers as well. Okay, some brothers I met in recent times. So I can tag the big reviewers, but I think those guys, like my friends, already. Uh, are like big in number so the thing is i'm not trying to say they are not big in numbers i want them to come forward and do more reviews for us that's what i'm trying to say okay so yeah here we go first guy i want to tag uh, is chris phuket okay he's right now in phuket thailand he's one of our most active members he's my most active uh, member in the group alongside mikalis i'm not tagging mikalis because mikalis actually is uh, tagged by brother ahnaf tamir okay his channel is called the frankenstein uh, uh, sorry, I didn't mention it. Tamil Pai's channel is called The Frankenstein. I'll leave link below. You can subscribe to him. So Mikalis, yes, also from my side, you can take invitation. But he has been tagged by, I think, so many people. He is loved also. So let's say Mikalis, Chris Fouquet, both of them. Then Media Sampai. He's living in Germany. He has a channel, does in Bengali. I wish he can do a top 10. Then Tan Tanzi Shuhubai. He is my, one of my dear brothers. And he is the owner of Fragrance BD page. He lives in the States. Then another brother from Philippines. He just uh, joined our page like a few weeks back. I think Mr. Troy D. And uh, I would like to see your top 10. I know he has great choices. Then my dear brother, uh, Mr. Aditya Bhai. Aditya Bhai is my neighbor in Dharmundi. So you, brother, better put up your top 10 list, your most favorite ones. Then brother J. Rocks. Okay. Uh, you guys know him. He's a great reviewer. And he really is very honest guy from the heart. Then uh, I think I'm gonna say probably wrong, but Jesus Vergas, uh, he is one of the brothers who also reviews every day. Really love his work. Um, then Mr. Matt Hand, really, really good guy, really happy guy, really classy guy. I really like him a lot. Mr. Matt Hand, you are tagged. Next is brother Hassan Siddiqui from India. Um, he has uh, done a collab video and he invited me in recent times. Check out his video. Uh, one fragrance for signature scent. He is great brother. And then next is Buster Charbal, Charbal Mata or Karbal Mata. I'm not sure. I'm, I am yet to hear your name. But you guys know he, he is a good friend in the community. Then two more left. No, sorry. Just one guy left. Uh, no one else but Mr. Thor, a.k.a. Mr. Thomas. My Greek brother, like Mr. Mikalis, I would like to see some top 10s, guys. Yeah. So you guys have been tagged. Do let me know. Uh, stay cheered up. As long as you're standing, we should always battle it on. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. And love you all. Stay safe. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.